Hello everyone, I'm Mozzie JTV and we are back with some more Castle Morihisa. I'm actually recording this straight after the last episode, after doing a little bit of checks on the tactics and the, uh, what are these called, talents even, that you can get with the Omyoji character. And there are some good ones, I can tell you that much. Let's have a look at this. Increases your action point cap by one. I can't believe I didn't notice this in the last episode, but we'll definitely have to go for that at some point, especially because we've already unlocked proper usage. Um, I'm not so sure about this one, it's Leech. Not sure if we, we're not a leech build this time. I need to learn a bit more about leech before I know how good it is. This is another great one. Your unspent action points will carry over between turns. So if we could get that and striding step, we probably just don't need to worry about action points ever again and can finale all of our cards. And the other ones, I didn't spend too much time, but if you have no armor at turn end, you gain an action point. The others seem okay, but I think we should immediately be gunning for, for, for this one and you lose three health at turn start, but instead increase your action point cap by one. I was going to get this one, but now that we've got the Relic, which increases your action point cap by one, I'm actually rather wanting to build into this one and not take the damage per turn. And this says whenever you lose health on your turn, gain one strength. So it helps combat the fact that we're going to lose a bit of strength at the same time. Now, we also completed our gain 10 talent points this adventure. So we've managed to upgrade our Spectre and Fan Attack, which is good. And then just as a reminder, we are looking to play all our hand cards and end the turn with zero action points. And we're looking to kill 10 enemies in the adventure. And we've got Shimazu Yoshihiro, who can attack three times each, dealing eight damage each. So basically 24 damage split across enemies. And who's going to join him? But none other than probably, let's have a look, Saito Dozan. On the enemy's next turn, whenever you lose health from attack, strike back at the attacker dealing two times damage. It's a bit of risk versus reward there. If you're willing to take the damage, you can deal a lot to them. And I think I'm going to take this mainly because we have a lot of healing in our deck at the moment. So we could purposely tank a load of hits just to basically one-shot the enemy and then heal back up over successive turns maybe in the next combat. Now, we fought the Mutant Monk last time uh, we played in the second stage right at the start. So I wonder if that's always going to be the case. For now, 15 damage is actually quite a lot that they're going to do to us. So I'm probably going to hmm, probably going to hasty action. See what we can get. We can get some more guard. Probably worth it. We'll go guard into fusion. I should remember that. So hasty action will choose. You choose one of three, and it puts the other two into void. So in effect, that's nine armor for us. So I, I sort of forgot about that when I just did that. Um, but no matter. We're still going to play our whole hand, and we're even going to get our bat assault finale. Perfect. We didn't even use all of our action points. So you know we're well on top of it. Interestingly, that this says play all your hand cards and end the turn with zero action points. We played all our hand cards and ended the turn with one, and we still got it. So maybe it just means as long as you have something available, um, it's good. Now, what have we got here? I'm just trying to remember all of our cards. Mirror Charm and Focus Charm are both good. We don't, probably don't need to worry too much about them. In fact, I'm thinking about Mirror Charming here, just so that we can then Fan Attack, Soul Siphon. We take no damage, and tons of vulnerability is on the enemy. So we can basically move off this Shikigami Red Ogre whenever we want. We might as well do it now, to be honest. Get the healing, even though we're not using the healing. Um, I don't, I'm just trying to think if we want to do anything else, but no. I think we just want to get the healing just in preparation. Like, even though we're at full health now, it's always good to have it, and the, the Red Ogre is really not giving us any benefit at all. So we're probably going to hasty action here again. Yeah, we are. And, ooh, which one will I take? Probably the Soul Siphon. It gives us nine armor. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have taken something else, actually, there. But you live and you learn. And can we play all our cards? Oh, he's... Did they just deal damage back to me? I'm not sure. There must be some sort of counter on that I just didn't realize. Um, I'm just going to play all my cards. Get the Mutant Monk low. And then we can finish them off this turn, probably. But I'm actually going to shuffle things back into our deck. And I'm interested what that... Ah. I guess that plus side, that little heart... Um, Heart. That little arrow is just showing us that we've used that upgraded card, so it's five damage at the end of turn. So as long as we don't, well, first we don't want to take any damage, and second of all, we want to get her him low enough that we can kill him next turn, almost certainly with one of our max health increases. So please draw one. We've got enough in the deck. Let's go and soul siphon. Then we're up to eighty health. I think I just got an achievement, probably for having a load of max health, which I'm not complaining about. And oh, this is a hard choice: Inferno or Demon Strike. Now, I feel like we're building into this Inferno synergy, but we do have that uh, talent that is removing cards from the Void. But I'm going to take it anyway, because I just like the card, and I think it's really strong for us at the moment. We just want to do 10 damage for one action point. I mean, I probably shouldn't be worrying so much about the cost of action points, so we're starting to build... I mean, we've got four now, and we're going into a talent that might give us five. Um, let's hasty action straight away. We're going to get Inferno out. We are just going to cast all of our spells, to be honest. No worries there. Shame that everything does a little bit less. It'd be good if we get something to increase our strength. I'm not sure what that would be, but I'm sure we can find something as we go through the game. And I just realized, 
I, I, this one I always think I've never seen before, but this is the guy that gives us, uh, basically tanks us up, gives us armor. Um, and this is going to be a Soul Siphon turn, as you can imagine. When I see Soul Siphons, I play them, buffs everything else up, puts everything in the void, and gets us ready, you know, to probably pull some more out later. 18 damage, that's not insignificant. Um, let's see. Can we kill this turn? That's going to be five. Oh, current is 11 total, so we're not going to kill this turn necessarily. But we might be able to just gain a ton of defense. I, don't know. I completely did that the wrong way around. I was a bit mind flooded and just wanted to play my turn. Probably could have. I don't think I could have killed that turn, but I could at least got them very close. Let's hasty action into a soul siphon. Unfortunately, each of these are only doing five damage, so we're not going to get the kill here. Probably should have thought about that a bit more carefully. But we might as well cast all of them. And then we've probably got a fourth one, I think, in the deck. So come on. There we go. There's the last one, and we still get our max health. If we can get max health like every single fight. We're going to be in a good stead, I'll tell you that much. Divine Chain, we haven't seen this before. For each card you place in the void this turn, gain two armor. I'm just worried about taking... Well, not that I'm worried about zero cost cards, but I'm thinking if we can get more draw, then this will be really good, because then we don't really mind playing what are effectively weaker cards, but this plus our hasty step, or whatever it's called, is two zero cost cards that will basically give us like a bazillion armor. So I'm thinking that is good. And I'm going to take it. I'm not 100% sure. It does get upgraded because it's a skill. I forgot about that. All our skills get upgraded. And let's get our make it count. So we can choose one of these to come in. Inflict one vulnerable and draw two cards. Almost certainly what we're going to get. Yeah, in fact, we're just going to pick up in feeble. Anything that's going to give us extra card draw, I think will be really good in this deck at the moment because we have loads of action points. I probably should look at the shop at some point. We're accruing quite a mass of money. And here we go. We've got this creepy mutated woman again with the weird... Um, pulsing little intestine that's coming out into our mouth. And I don't think we've seen the web so well before. It's basically the spider that we saw in the first round, but growing some goop on the back, basically. So even more scary than normal. And now we can almost certainly play all our cards here. Though this is, at the end of turn, deal damage equals the number of cards in your hand. So it doesn't really go that well with what we're doing here. But that was good to actually cast it right at the start. But let's see, let's see what we can deluge. Bring that out. Cast Inferno. Are we going to get a kill here? No, we're not going to get a kill. don't think we're going to take too much damage. I'm going to focus on the Mutated Woman, just because she's the lowest health to start with. And uh, We didn't take any damage there, which was good. Um, hmm, we can get a heal going. It's a shame that we can't get anything to increase our max health. I'm just going to see four, four. We're probably going to play everything, right? I think we're just going to play everything. So 14 armor. How much damage are they doing? 16. I'm going to heal... Two. I'm just thinking, do we want to even kill her? I think not. I think we just wanted to keep them low, and then we'll just gain the max health next turn. And there you go. Soul Siphon to kill one. Soul Siphon to kill the other. And then we might as well poison, even though it doesn't mean it means we're not going to use our fusion. And then we'll inflict vulnerable. I mean, it's only one vulnerable, I just really thought. So it doesn't really help us because they're just going to lose it next turn. But still, it's useful to see. And then what we're going to get here, I guess, fan attack. Focus charm. Can't cast any other spells this turn but that's not a problem and we're gonna enfeeble fan attack we can probably kill with inferno i'm just thinking is there a better thing to do can we get anything hmm. no we're just gonna kill I, I, I was trying to think we do something funky to get another soul siphon out but i think that wasn't gonna happen um are we gonna take any of these i don't think we are i think we're just gonna skip this i think we've actually got a really strong deck at the moment we probably don't need to worry about adding too much stuff if anything we need to start thinking about getting rid of some stuff and i might do just that here i might get rid of a i might get rid of a fan attack and replace it with demon strike in fact i think that's almost certainly what i'm gonna do so get that take this the other option would be of course and i need to remember this we can gain extra talent points at the moment i'm just trying to build up I mean, I was said I was going to build up to this, but I'm honestly not sure it does much for us. Hmm. Hmm. Is there something else we should be building? Disarm. You have no armor. Unspent action points will carry over. I mean, we could maybe get this. But it doesn't seem too strong for us. And there's probably some things further down here that we maybe need to be looking at. Hmm. Whenever you shuffle your deck. It doesn't count as a shuffle, though, when we bring something in. Nope, I think, I think we're good, and we're going to go in for the Elite. I feel very strong at the moment, so that is always a good sign. And hey, I do like the art on us. 18 health. 18 health is very low. Oh, but Ethereal. So while Ethereal only will take... Well, will only lose one health. So I assume this is basically you have to hit them 18 times rather than anything else. So let's draw some cards, get some guard up. Might as well Deluge to see what else we can pick up. Hmm. 
I'll take that. I don't know if it's actually... Yeah, in fact, the more I look at it, the more I don't think it's worth it. And we might as well Soul Siphon and Inferno. So unfortunately, our strat doesn't work very well here because we're trying to build up our Void and do a lot of damage all at once. But I think Fusion is probably going to be worthwhile here for that very reason. Yeah, let's Fusion. Let's Hasty Action. Let's pick Demon Strike, I think. Yeah, just I mean, just because I think every time this axe, it's going to do... I don't know if that actually worked, but what I was thinking is, if it does... Oh, it's remaining force times two. So I think it means it does just two times two, which is four damage once. I thought that meant it would do two damage twice. I just realized I skipped. I skipped a turn. I still had an action point, but oh well. I was probably too busy focusing on trying to explain the mechanic. Um, so let's gain some more armor. And then we're probably just going to play everything here, to be honest. Yeah, might as well. This this is not a hard... Well, at least for someone who has so many action points, so zero cost cards, etc., this is not a particularly hard enemy, which I'm glad for. And let's see if we can just kill. I'm wondering if we can just get close to killing here. Probably not going to kill this turn, but I'm wondering if we, can, if we can get the last hit and gain some more max health, I will be very happy. So we have one damage, two damage, three damage. Oh, we're so close. I trigger two Shikigami skills. Here we go. Wow, double soul siphon, why not? And then gain some more max health. I wonder if we'll head to 100 by the end of this. This would be really good if we can. Spend 500 coins in this adventure. Remove one card from your deck. Gain 30 armor in a single battle. We can do this. With hasty step. 30 is quite a lot though. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Let's do it. I don't know how useful it's going to be. But we definitely can do it. I'm going to take another hasty action. That seems very strong for us. Um, and might as well get an um, artifact. Every time I want to say, um, every time I want to say relic, but I mean artifact. We even got the relic, so I don't need to say relic every time. And we'll go for more combat. Actually, I don't care about question mark. I want more opportunities to fulfill our quests, get new cards, etc. And we haven't seen the demon monk before. I don't really think it looks like a monk. I never think of a monk using a sword. Maybe that's just me. Like, yeah, sure, a spear. I would normally think. Well, even a spear I wouldn't really think of. I'd think of a staff as being like a monkish weapon. But I'm not going to say no. And it looks like we are probably going to take some damage on this fight. But it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, especially because I just realised they've got permanent three counter on us. So maybe you should be a little bit more careful in this fight than the others. Let's see if there's anything good we can get here. None of these are particularly... I mean, I'm just going to take Spectre. It's like, how much do we actually want to hit him? We do five, he does three to us. I mean, it's probably still worth it. We have to kill him at some point. I'm just going to do that much. That, that will do. This is actually quite a tough fight for us, I think. This counter sort of does wreck with our strategy. I'm just trying to think here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's do that. 12 armor already. 16 armor. And then we might as well deal 5. We'll take 3 in return. I think that's still good. Yep, I think that'll do. I think we're just, we're just going to have to take some damage in this fight. But that's not the end of the world and especially with hasty action here i'm less worried inflict one vulnerable and draw two cards we flash our deck let us uh haste step again i probably should have played divine chains first but oh well um, i'm gonna play it now but it's a bit probably too little too late and deal a ton of damage to the enemy i'm probably gonna use all of these actually yeah might as well reverse abyss because i think you know big chunky heal and we might be able to kill him this turn let's get some defense up first and then, what's this? 8 damage, 5, 10, 18. I'm just going to do it. We're going to take a little bit of damage because of the counter, but I'd rather just get this over and done with. And we're already at 100 health. Or, oh, and that's because we got the watermelon. I forgot about that. And we're probably going to pick up another Inferno, I think. Yep, I'm almost certainly we're going to pick up another Inferno. At some point, we can probably have too much of a good thing, but I don't think that is now. And who will we be fighting next? Oh, our favourite toad and bird combo. I wonder what makes a toad and birds like want to join up. I thought birds tend to eat toads. Surely they should hate each other? Maybe they should be attacking each other here. I feel like we've been robbed. But oh well. And we've got the healer. So hmm, might as well hasty action first in case we get something very good. I'm going to take the soul siphon. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get someone to death this turn. But we could see about it. So that'd be five, eight, five. So that's 18, not enough. So I might as well do it the other way around. And there you go. Still isn't quite enough to kill him. Unfortunately, we don't have the Spectre out. That's one time where Spectre would have been very useful. And we can't really void much this turn, but we can Soul Siphon to kill that bird. And then we could six, six. That's not enough to do damage, unfortunately. So I'm probably gonna go Divine Charm into Focus Charm. 
Gives us 18, that's plenty. And then start hurting the bird, and then maybe we can kill the bird next turn. Something like this, I imagine we can. That's nine already, we can enfeeble. Let's enfeeble this. If we don't get a soul siphon, we're probably just gonna kill. Yeah, just gonna kill this time. Um, hmm. Fusion. I was gonna play fusion, but we'll probably just get two defenses up, and that ends our turn. Haven't really taken much damage on this, which is really good. And, hmm, trigger. Might as well get some extra healing, is what I'm thinking. No, let's deluge. Get hasty action. Hasty action into... That's annoying. So hasty action. I should probably read it again. So let's just double check this. Hasty action. Where are you? Oh, it goes into our void pile. Show the top three cards of your library. So if you've got no cards left in your library, it doesn't shuffle it back around. That's good to know for the future. Um, not ideal there, but we'll, we'll live. And I just missed an action point again. It's a good sign that you're not getting punished when you're you're missing effectively a quarter of your, your attack options. Um, and let's see what we can do here. Enfeeble to draw more cards. Inferno, Inferno. Mirror Charm. Yeah, that seems fine to me. We do take three damage, but I'm hoping we can soul... Well, let's reverse this into Deluge. I was hoping... In fact, we can do that into Hasty Action, into Hasty Action. Oh, this, this is the dream. And this is how we get 30 armor in one turn, that's for sure. Into Soul Siphon. I was getting so ahead of myself that I forgot we are still not enough damage to kill. But that shows how our deck can combo. That's the sort of stuff that makes me excited when I play a game like this. That has, um, you know, any any sort of card deck builder. Where you feel like you, you've got a strategy and you can actually see it all pan out at some point. Now, do I like any of these is the question. I'm debating this just because it voids. But it is... I think we'll take it. I'm not too worried about two action point cards because we've got so much at the moment. Let's see. Restore 20 health. We do not need to use this. But transmit a card into an attack card. I think we'll just take a guard away. Let's see what attack we get. I mean, we'll get upgraded as well, which will be nice. Another bat assault. That's good. I like the I like the fact that it does a lot of damage anyway. Like five across all enemies. It's pretty strong. Um, and then we we'll might as well take another relic. Voodoo Paper Doll. We had this last time. Same as Lizard's Tail in uh, Slay the Spire. But I don't think we'll hopefully have to use it this time because I feel a lot stronger, but we shall see. And this is the Elite Heretic. I feel like this is like... I don't even know what he's wearing on his head. It almost looks like a little target. I wonder if this guy like thinks this protects him from the dogs. Like he's a, he's a dog trainer and he's like, as long as I've got this on, the wolves won't attack me. I mean, who knows? Maybe it's actually working. But for now, I think we're going to play our whole hand. Um, it's probably going to be the best option. We can't kill anyone on this turn, but we might as well get the Demon Spawn ready to kill next time. Just try and kill me. I've got so much armor. What is this? We'll lose 10 health and grant all allies to strength. Okay, so we want to try and kill people as fast as we can in this example. And probably going to do this. Oh, it's already doing 11 damage. I, I thought I'd be able to get this guy low enough, but I obviously was mistaking what we could do. Probably still worth killing him. Hmm. Nine damage. We're already taking none, so actually, I'm going to do this into this. Yeah, and then Spectre. So, not going to kill anyone this turn, but going to get ready. Oh, wait, hang on. This does... Oh, five damage to a randomly. I thought it was to all enemies. I guess that would be very strong. Now, we can kill both with... Hmm. That's Enfeeble. Do we have another... Hmm. Probably going to... Actually, no. We should probably Inferno first. Inferno... Inferno. We'll recover 25% health. I've probably done this completely wrong now that I think about it. Hmm. But actually, this is going to kill both of them. It means we won't get the buffs, but it's not the end of the world. So, hasty action. Gain five armor. Oh, it actually kills it. That was the worst thing we could have got, but oh well. Um, bat assault into reverse of this. And I'm hoping we can probably kill this guy this turn with the max health giver. We didn't draw it though. But we can probably get with hasty action. Yep, there we go. Boom, boom. We are looking pretty fine, I must say. I'm not seeing anything stopping us at this moment. I'm almost tempted to get another Inferno. In fact, I think I will. Yep, I will. Um, probably don't want another. And we should probably look at our talent points here. Now, do we even need this? We very rarely have to do... Is there anything here that gives us draw? I should probably have a look at that. Hmm. Draw, draw, draw. Have you shuffle? Do you have no armor? Hmm. Every void. Draw would be so good, but I guess it's very strong, so I'm not... Whenever an enemy dies, trigger one, trigger army. That seems not too bad. Oh, might as well take striking gold, because let's be honest, we're not going low very often. Um, and I think that's it. I'm actually going to build to this vitality link, I think. So when we have 20 or less... I mean, that's not going to happen, though. Hmm, we seem to, I'm still going to take it. It's probably not the best move. And then we still have three more. Killing an enemy heals you for one health. 
start the battle with an extra action point. Enemy dies. I'll get the enemy dies, trigger a Shikigami skill, and we are going to fight an elite. Because why not? And we've always got that backup health from our quest if we need it. And this is some weird harpy lady and some even weirder babies. I look at these things. That I, I, I wonder, I need to probably see if I can look up what this is based on. There's probably some Japanese fable. If you've ever seen, there's a, a weird Japanese sort of folklore history. Well, not history, definitely folklore. Which is like this, um, <laughs> this guy that has like a giant eye for a butt. I'll see if I can find the picture um, and, and maybe link it in the in the comments or something like that. But yeah, I, I'll, I'll look him up for maybe next video and try and tell you what he's about. But there's some interesting things in Japanese folklore, that is for sure. And here, we haven't got much to give us armor. Can we even kill? We're not going to kill. We can go soul siphon, soul siphon. Seven damage, seven damage, focus charm. Just with 18, 18 armor, which is not too shabby. Um, I'm just trying to think if we can get rid of one of these as fast as possible. That's probably a good way to do it. Can we get anything into the void? In fact, let's not get it into the void because I think seven damage. So not quite seven damage. There you go. That's good. We've already killed one of them. I hope she doesn't spawn more, but at least these seem to be doing more of the damage. What's this? Oh, someone wants spirit. Like, never mind. When I, when I take back everything that I said about hopefully they don't spawn more. Of course she does. Uh, let's, I mean, I could deluge first. Oh no, you discard the rest. I was like, can I order everything in such a way? Let's do this into Soul Siphon, Deluge into Hasty Action probably again. I mean, putting a lot of stuff in the void that I probably don't need to. Yeah, into Reverse Abyss. But what I don't want, I want to make sure I don't void Reverse Abyss accidentally because that would be bad. Do this, switch into Spectre, Guard, Guard Reverse Abyss. Why not? You're not getting through 40, 40 strength, I was going to say, 40 armor, that's for sure. Probably want to play our fusion at some point, but we are taking quite a bit of damage this turn if we're not careful. So let's let's do our classic hasty action into hasty action into focus charm this time. Gain a ton of armor. And then we're probably gonna play this and then just deal some damage to her. As long as we're not taking any damage, I'm not too worried. And we're slowly but surely. Okay, this is a great example of play your hand dummy. So I can do that very easily and get double bat assault. Deal, 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 tons of damage there, which is really good. We're really not looking too worried. I wish I didn't spend so much time killing the Spirit Link earlier because that didn't seem particularly useful. Um, hmm. Got three Inferno, so I want to try and keep. Let's see how far we can get through. So, Inferno, hmm. 14, 9, 18, 27, 26, 17. I think that's good. We didn't get to play our last Inferno, so we lost out on a bit of damage, but only taking one is not too bad at all. And we can probably Void, Inferno, Guard. Hmm. Do we have any Salt more? I must have skipped through and put our Reverse of this in the Void. So I'm going to keep this Soul Siphon out so that we have it to kill Harpy Lady herself. Ubu Mei, I should say, not Harpy Lady. How, how rude of me. Now, can we Deluge into... Hmm. Can we Stall? How much damage? I can't see. That's a bit annoying. I'm pretty sure this is 9, 18, 27 again. So I think we're going to take a chunk if we don't kill her. So I'm just going to kill her. I just realized we still obviously have to kill them as well. So we might be able to set this up so that we kill one of them. Only taking four damage. That's not too bad. And then we might still be able to soul siphon, I was going to say, this turn. So we just need to be able to do oh, 15. Perfect. 15 into eight. That is a kill for us. We're, we're zooming up and we've got a quest scroll. Buy one card from the shop. That seems very easy. We've got a lot of money at the moment. I'm just going to do that. Talent points and release your current Shikami. We don't need this. I don't think we need any of these, I'll be honest. Let's skip the reward there. What can we buy here? I think we gained three talent points. And then we probably remove a card because I said I would. And it upgrades a card. Let's remove probably a random defense. I'm thinking a random defense. It could be a fan attack, to be honest. Probably a fan attack, actually. Um... That, oh, it's buy one card. I should have been paying more attention. Oh, well. We're going to refresh the shop anyway, because we need to do it at some point. Um, look at this. All attack cards deal double damage this turn. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Hasty action, expel evil. Hasty action, expel evil. I'm ready. I'm ready and ready to go. I know what I want. And I want it now. Until then, we're probably going to wait until we get this vitality look. It's only very minor, I think, because we're not taking that much damage. But we might as well wait for it and pick it up. Upgrade defense cards when you get them. So now we get upgraded defense cards and upgraded skills. Now we just need upgraded attacks. 
Is there much we want to upgrade? Is there going to be like a really big thing to upgrade? Probably our Infernos, actually. Oh my god, deal 8 damage plus damage equal to the cards in the void times 2. Okay, there's no th nothing we're going to do apart from go straight to the nearest rest right and upgrade our Infernos. They get so much stronger. Especially with the amount of stuff we're managing to stick in the void. Maybe we just have an amazing run this time. I'm going to go straight back to another one and upgrade another Inferno. That seems so strong. Oh, we are, we are, we are going crazy in this run. I'm glad I tried the Omyoji today. And where are we going to be in the Elite? Interesting. Candles. The wax just keeps on pouring and cannot be disarmed. 25 damage is a not an insignificant amount for the first turn. Um, recover one Shigigami Force. Maybe we can do this in a... Building the force up on this by six damage. That's 12 damage to one person. And we're already taking only one damage in return. So I definitely don't want a Spectre. I'm probably just going to Soul Scythe from one of them. Bit of an un uninspiring turn. But yeah, let's end the turn. That will do, as they say. That will do Donkey. And here we've already got some Infernos. Can we put anything into... Probably not. Probably not even worth it. Let's just deal a bunch of damage. In fact, let's... I assume it's not going to be something like you want to kill them all at the same time or something like that, because that'd be annoying. Um, I'm hoping I just kill one and then the other. What is this? We'll heal all allies with 20 health. So maybe they just pair up and help each other out. Let's inflict vulnerable. Gained a lot of cards. Let's hasty action into hasty action, as they say, into double inferno. And then we're probably just going to 25 damage, 14 damage. That's one dead. Probably should have soul siphoned that, but I'm not too worried. And then we can play Fusion Plus. Fusion Plus is a good get out of jail if we ever use our Void... I'm going to forget the name of it. In fact, what's it called? The Reverse Abyss. If we ever get that. 30 damage now. So maybe you are meant to kill them in parallel because he is doing a whopping amount of damage there. And I probably should have played this first. That's Divine Chain because it's cost zero. 23 damage. We're almost certainly going to do this. And then we're probably going to Reverse Abyss after. Gain 5, 18. Can we do enough here? Probably more about protecting ourselves. We might be able to get a card. This doesn't make it zero, does it? Almost certain it doesn't. I'm going to take it just in case. No. So we're going to take a chunk of damage here. But I'm not too worried. I mean, it was an elite. The only thing I'm slightly considering is, are we actually going to fight a... Are we going to go straight into the boss after this, is what I'm thinking. But for now, I think we're just going to kill... Gain 20 health. 6, 12. Nah, we're just going to kill him. There's no point waiting around. They might do a big 30 damage attack again. If we can't kill, then it'll be bad for us. This is probably quite easy to do, but restore 10 health doesn't... I mean, all of these are pretty... I'll get this, because... Oh, is it, oh, do we have to spend 500 from the time we pick it up? And that probably should have been self-evident. But for now, I'm going to take another Reverse Abyss. We haven't needed it, but I think at some point we're going to. And I will get Vitality Link and three skill cards on the same turn. I think that's... that's that does happen. Um, oh, sorry. What? Because we, we use our hasty step. Where is it? For every void card you play on your turn, gain one strength. No, definitely picking that. I didn't even look at the rest. That seems far better for us. And let's go into combat. I'm not going to use the heal yet because I don't think I need it. But I might need it in the just before the boss. And what is this? I was going to say it's a weird mushroom. And then I realized it's an umbrella with a leg. <laughs> where do you find these things, Japan? Where, where do you come up with these things? Especially because when I think of folktales, I think like really old. And that's probably completely wrong, actually, now that I think about it. Like, you know, when you think of like Beauty and the Beast, Brothers Grimm, that sort of stuff from Western culture, that's not that old. But I'm like, parasols. I never think of having a parasol in a folktale. Even though I'm pretty sure, you know, Belle from Beauty and the Beast probably had a parasol. So I'm completely wrong here. And we'll gain one strength at the end of the turn. So we need to kill this guy as soon as possible, is the way I see it. And normally a good way to do that is to start hasty actioning like crazy. Um, okay, Inferno. Just basically give us a ton of okay, Inferno Plus. And then probably going to play the Fusion now because we can. Deluge into Mirror Charm. Give us some healing. And then we can just go 21 damage, 13 damage, 7 damage. Already nearly dead. Looking really good for us. And we got some healing out of it as well. I mean, we are going to have to kill her as well at some point. But I'm not too worried. So we could kill him this turn. I'm going to actually vulnerable them. Hmm. Five, seven, that'd be 12. So that would kill if we can empty our hand, which we can't. I'm just going to kill him. I'd rather be fighting one enemy than two anyway. And we can always get max health off of her. Though remember, she does, her head does just decide to go for walkies at some point. So we need to be cognizant of that. Um, hmm. Gain nine armor. Void. Inferno. I think that's fine. I'll save the, save the exit abyss, reverse abyss even. Um, probably until now. A lot of these things can void. I might as well keep healing because it's good for us. Soul Siphon. 
Soul Siphon. Inferno. Bam. So now she's going to become her little head. And then I will end the turn. And I will look to... Hmm, might as well Divine Chain, Focus Charm, Inferno, Demon Strike. That's a decent amount of damage. I do want to reverse Abyss now as soon as I can. So I was about to say I don't think I have any more Soul Siphon, but I obviously do. So that's 23 and then Soul Siphon. So never mind. Job done. Jobs are good one. And what can we pick up? <laughs> can we really say no? We probably don't need another one. But why not? It's going into our void. Worst comes to worst. Fight another elite. And then I assume we're going to be going to the boss. This has been quite a long video, actually. I, I wonder why. I guess because we've been doing a lot of elites. Elites tend to be a bit tankier. Um, so it's been taking a little bit more time. Right, we've got both our... This is not a great hand, to be honest. But with hasty action, anything can become a great hand. Um, probably just going to take the focus charm. Yeah, we're just gaining force on this. That technically means we're fine. Gain 10 damage and then end the turn. That didn't seem too bad to me. Um, the golem gave us a lot of trouble last time. I don't think that's going to be the same case this time. So that's Demon Strike, Inferno, Inferno, Mirror Charm. Perfect. I probably should have Mirror Charmed earlier, actually, because I forgot that used Utengu's ability. It's a shame that we've got Petrify now. Petrify could become very annoying. I'm just thinking if it stops us doing our Reverse Abyss. But for now, I'm not too worried. Let's Deluge. Hasty Action. Hasty Action. Bat Assault. Fusion Plus, and then might as well Bat Assault. We're going to take one damage, but we're going to... Why did that do no damage to him? That's interesting. Oh, it's immune to all damage that deals all attacks less than six damage. It's a good job I remember that now. Because a lot of these do five, but at least we our infernos are going to do a ton of damage to him, so I'm not too worried. Um, I'm just seeing if I can draw anything else. I'm going to take the reverse abyss now, so we can do a lot of damage there, and then shuffle everything up, get a load of healing, and get ready for the next turn. I mean, I'll use this, but it's not going to do any damage to him. Just to stock up our void again, so that our infernos start dealing more damage. As you see. No, it's six, so it's actually going to hurt him. But I will... Oh, I can't use that. That's unfortunate. Day nine armor. I will soul siphon as well. And then I'm going to Inferno. Just trying to make sure Infernos do enough damage that we can get through this Bulwark. Because the Bulwark's going to be the pain. Um, Is Shigagami actually doing damage to him? Let's just double check that. No, it doesn't do damage at all because it's less than six. And then I can't empty my ter hand this turn. Hmm. Might as well reverse Abyss. And then Bat Assault. I don't know. don't know if it was worth it. This is not quite as easy as I was originally hoping. But Focus Charm here. 4 damage, 7 damage. Might as well Soul Siphon first to increase the damage of this. 10 damage. I mean, we, we're not taking much damage either. It's just a bit of a slog, this fight. Uh, though, whenever we get our hasty actions, I suddenly go, hmm, maybe it's not going to be so much of a slog. Though, not quite as good when we don't have anything on our hand, in our deck, I was going to say. So, probably a very simple turn. I'll try and get through this relatively fast. Um, Demon strength. Deals zero damage. Oh, because he gives us a debuff on our strength, doesn't he? Um, it just means this, this is just not going to be a good turn, is it? I might just... Yeah, hasty action. Focus charm. Focus charm. Guard. I'm going to switch the spectre now because I feel like we empty our hand most of the time. Um, though actually, I just said that. There's no point because it's five damage, which just gets blocked by the ball lock. So that was a pointless move, but oh well. Um... Hasty action. I was hoping to get another Inferno, but I'll probably take the reverse of this. Um, Inferno. Inferno. Deluge. Inferno. Reverse of this. I feel like I shouldn't have reversed Abyss now. I'm just thinking. I probably just... I'm not going to Soul Siphon to get a kill here. Because of his Bulwark, it's never going to happen. I'm probably better off just getting things into our Void as fast as possible. With things like Hasty Action. And then picking up the Infernos to deal the damage. Soul Siphon... Just thinking if there's anything else I can do first. I mean, I guess I could Soul Siphon again into an Inferno, and that's the kill. Just realized that I might be able to do that the other way around, but that's not the end of the world. Complete a battle without losing health. I'm going to take that, because we're doing really strong at the moment. I don't know if it counts. I guess we can't lose any health, because normally what happens is we lose a bit, and then we recharge it back up. I'm going to skip all of this, and then I'm going to just look at our... Actually, let's do this first, because we should be able to upgrade our final... We got more infernos than I thought, so not our final one. And then we have seven points here, so we should be able to get something good, is what I'm thinking. You lose. Is there something that gives us extra strength, maybe? Whenever you play three skill cards on the same turn. Yep, I'm going to take that. And then we've only got enough of these things in the middle. Killing an enemy heals you for one health. 
each disrupt card you play when hmm, we're about to go into a boss gain one temporary attack card for your class i'm gonna take this it only costs us one and bosses tend to have more disrupt cards like those things like poison mucus i can't remember what the other disrupts are confused maybe and here we have a cleric i guess a cleric or some sort of bishop style character with some weird sort of tentacle barnacle even from like half-life looking floor or floor legs to them interesting might as well cast our Shikigami first. I mean, this is going to be probably a simple play most of your cards. Um, like that. I mean, it does have counter, but you have to remember that. Cover 30 health at turn start when taking damage, lose an equal amount of recovery. Does that mean we have to do like a minimum of 30 damage to hurt him? Surely not. I think I'm getting that mixed up. I'm not understanding that. Let's hasty action into hasty action. You know, the classic. It's a shame they're not doing damage to us. And then let's see how this works. So, recover 30 health at turn start. Okay. Now, if I Inferno, now it's nine okay that makes sense to me hmm, I, i'm not sure i'm not sure i guess all the damage goes through but then they get a 30 health buff at the moment so we just need to be doing large amounts of damage if we can if we can i don't think this boss is going to be particularly challenged for us i can imagine this boss being an absolute pain though if we weren't so over the top overpowered as we are at the moment but i'm not complaining though. probably should have reversed the beast first actually he's doing no damage to us hmm. might as well take an inferno void into inferno so here Gain 30 health? Yeah. So we didn't get through the barrier. This is actually... Maybe it is tougher than I think it is. Um, I just realised. Does Inferno become two cost? Or what's giving us an extra cost? All cards will cost one more action point for one turn. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, we have some void here. Do I want to take 18 damage? I think I want to take 18 damage. Just to stop him healing up. Um, we, we have plenty of healing in our deck, so I'm not too worried about that. That's Enfeeble. Do we have anything that we can void? Soul Siphon's going to be a void. Inferno does a ton of damage. Demon Strike doesn't do anything for us, to be honest. I'm still going to use it. I'll use the other one instead. Okay, he's on half health. 30 armor. This basically means he's guaranteed a 30 heal. I don't know how we're going to punch through it easily. Um, hmm. Well, he's not doing any damage either. I'm getting ready to void, basically. Okay, five any trigger. Let's do this. There's no point even. Let's just let's just void. Lots of healing. I don't know. This this boss just seems a bit of a slog, to be absolutely honest with you. I'm hopeful we can um beam up quicker. I just need to remember. One reverse abyss is in void, so we don't want to put the other one in. That's for sure. And I'm gonna switch to Spectre, I think. Um, Force Charm. Now can we we can use all our cards. Why not? Perfect. We do take a little bit of damage, but we chunk through him, which is good. He's now on nearly a third of his health. We're probably going to Divine Chain here. Because the Divine Chain will make up for the fact that we're getting hit by counters. Ooh. Do, 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 do. I, I, I just take Bath Salt because it's the only one that costs zero. Perfect. Okay, we're getting close. I think we will win him. Win against this probably in two turns, I'm thinking. Because whenever he puts up 30 armor, I'm like, we're never going to get through that. Hasty action, of course, to Inferno. Yeah, Inferno, Inferno. Guard, I probably should have guarded earlier. And then Reverse Abyss. And we've taken a little bit of damage in this fight, but really not too much, really not too much. I'm really happy with how it's going. This, on the other hand, is dealing a quite a lot of damage to us. Um, hmm. No, I'll take the damage. I don't mind. Anything to stop him healing. And we can maybe kill him this turn, if we get some good Infernos, at least. We don't, but we might still... Might as well focus Charm first, so that we've got some defense. And there we go. He's on 14, 24, plus the healing. If we, if we draw some Infernos, we're suited, but they're all in there at the moment, so I don't think we're going to. Mirror Charm, Spectre, Siphon Soul, Guard, Batter Soul. Give him the healing, and then we'll kill him this turn, hopefully, he says, as he hopes to draw a load of... We'll keep the reverse of this just in case. I'm pretty sure Inferno, Inferno, Deluge, into hasty action. We've got to do it in the fancy way. Into Inferno. I was tempted to go into Enfeeble, into Soul Siphon, but I think we'll just go for Inferno and get the kill there. Perfect. I think that was really easy. And Sandals, increase your action point cap by one. Card truce and winning is reduced by two. I almost wish we could say no to these. I mean, I guess I probably could just skip reward. So, yeah, you can just press no to these. And never mind. Um, win a battle within four turns. Play 15 cards in a single battle. All these are pretty bad. I'm going to get that one because I actually want money. The other ones don't really interest me that much. 
No. <laughs> I was like, hmm, all of these seem really interesting. Trigger one Shigami skill and void it. Probably want to take that. Mystic plus. At turn start, lose one health and draw one card. I'm taking it. That seems really good for our build. But we will have to try it out in the next episode. But thank you all for watching, and I will talk to you next time.